Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rafe Gal. Sorry for the abrupt stop last time. I apparently bumped <clears throat> the record button and lost the end of my video, but luckily it was at a pretty good stopping spot anyway. So we're going to pick back up from the quick save or the auto save um, right before this. So uh, we were on our way to confront Lindsay about the money. She bought, uh, she stole the money to buy a printing press. And apparently it hasn't arrived yet. So, we're going to get that quest. And this is actually where I left off anyway. So, I only lost like five minutes, if that. Which is nice. I had a severe moment of panic as I went to go turn my recording off and it turned it on instead. I, I think I've mentioned it before, but <clears throat> the way that my recording system is set up, I actually use the... Uh, it's a mouse button three, so it's the right but or like I have a extra button on the side of my mouse for my thumb. And that one is actually what I use for turning my recording on and off. And originally that was from when I was doing speedruns of uh Refunct. So that I could cycle really quickly. Um, between, basically every time I restarted the game, I wanted to be able to just real quick toggle the, the recording back on, and it just kind of became my go-to way of doing things. Um, I could probably find a safer button, but this is, I think this is the first time that's actually happened where I've accidentally bumped the button. I've had the game crash on me and lost stuff before, things like that, but never this. Okay. Got new stuff in the Swamp Witch's hut. That's the only place I'm seeing with an exclamation point. So I guess let's head... This way. And we'll head down towards the witch's hut. I'm honestly assuming that the witch's hut are... Uh, Actual or is actually uh, the book quest that we have. Oh, are we out of ingredients? Need more butter for that. Okay. Sure. Pancakes sound good.
Old fortifications. We'll see if there's a quest flag here on the road, as well as the book. We have to come down here to get the book anyway. I'm hoping it's not the northern Narl Marshes or the dire Narl Marshes that are further out. And I'm really hoping that it doesn't, like, not have a flag for the quest. Because just wandering around randomly seems miserable. I suppose we can just hope that we happen to, or, I mean, Lindsay's with us anyway, because that would be the problem, the big problem would be if we didn't have Lindsay with us. When we have, or because you can't run into it without Lindsay. A cart could definitely be it. And it looks like it is. So this ended up being a twofer. Okay, there's the first one. Do you have any remove curse? Nope. I know the way. What the heck? Apparently I missed that. Well, I guess let's... Is there actually a way to get over there? Yeah. 
Lich was not in vain. That was easy. Huh. A solid plan. This requires your attention. Should do it. Oh, I don't like surprises. <laughs> Leather armor plus two, nice. That's a interesting thing to miss. <laughs> Little a little over a thousand XP left to saw. Switching that back to an extra cast of prayer since I'm not currently cursed. Gonna kind of curl around here and explore some of that eastern front since we haven't actually done that yet. It's also another area that we haven't really been to, so I'm hoping that that might be able to get uh, become our third region if the northern Narl Marshes don't. <clears throat> Okay. Neat. Seems like a lot of money, but I think I will at least get that much back. I was hoping for like a fetch quest or something. I don't know. I said we're really close on level right now. For the main party members, so.
Okay. I love how the uh, speed ups end up with these little weird twitchy motions because it's more than they're used to in the like cutscenes and stuff. Like when Lindsay was running over to the cart. It was amusing. Or at least I found it amusing. <laughs> Empty Skull Rock. Looks like there are trolls. Judging by the troll hounds, okay. A solid plan. <laughs> Holy crap. I think we're actually okay though. Let's uh, just for safety do one of these. Troll hounds. I it like I saw it. Caves. Okay. Since we're going into a potentially enclosed area. Tear them apart! They go down! More artificial flowers. What's that? Racers and an elven curved blade. And this doesn't loop around to the other cave. Nice. There's two caves. Uh, that actually negates the need for um, mage armor. And actually, Keen, Irvin, Keen Elven Curve Blade is actually one of the best weapons in the game. So that makes me happy as well. I don't think we have anybody who can use it, <laughs> but it's neat. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. This should do it.
regular cloak of resistance. I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much. We got a braces of armor plus four is really good. That's actually the magic number, basically, because we it means we never have to cast mage armor again. So those don't stack. And mage armor gives a plus four bonus. So. Uh, if it lets me, I may, I can't remember if you can swap out sorcerer spells at level up or not, but if it lets me, I will probably swap out, uh, mage armor or something more. Appropriate. Useful. We'll go with useful. <clears throat> The Camelands is this little peninsula here. Looks like we don't have access to it yet. Maybe clearing this out will help towards that. Who will prevail? Does it matter? Uh, so those were wolves. There were a few. Just a few. And so they walked on. Let's uh, do a quick loop here. Shard of a ring. There's probably going to be, from the art, it looks like two more pieces at least. Let's see if there's any other wolves here. Okay, do the quick level ups, partially because I'm curious about the thing I just mentioned. Arcana Persuasion, Charisma, <laughs> it's so stupid. Min-max sorcerers are ridiculous, just to be clear. Neat. Just make sure there's nothing else super exciting here.
Pulse Life is really good. Obsidian Flow is actually a really cool uh, fire spell. It's less powerful, but basically it makes the ground like become molten for a second, giving them a hot foot, and then it hardens back into rock around their feet. I'm not sure how useful it is. Dimension Door is really cool. Bone Shatter is really powerful, but not necessarily good. I'm really tempted to do Controlled Fireball. It just is Fireball, but cuts out your allies. Minimum damage, it says. So it probably still does uh, 1d6, except for it roll, effectively probably rolls all 1s. Um, that seems really good. not look like it's gonna let me undo that which is fine actually let's real quick check what do we get next level here okay <sighs> I mean it's a classic for a reason <laughs> what the character's built to do and it's a way to do it without damaging my party as much you know what no 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 i feel like there's got to be something better Action from energy was really good when I used it a little bit ago. Having another person with it is not bad. Shout can be really good. Summon spells can be good. Pure invisibility is really good. But I don't know if it's useful for this character. Mention door can be really good. I, I always think of level 4 as kind of the, the throwaway level, so being able to just have another... Having another fireball does seem good. All the other ones are kind of all or nothings. Bone Shatter's really powerful. Against one person, and actually is pretty good even if they succeed on their save. Just trying to think of what, I can, what I'm going to do four of. I get seven third level spells. So I don't, it's not like I'm running low on fireballs. Even if I do two or three uh, haste and four fireballs, that's pretty good. I'm not sure I need another four of them. I'm leaning towards Enervation or Bone Shatter. Just because that'd be a good way to like just wreck a boss if it hits. Now the big thing is... Even if this, even if they make the save on this one, they still take damage and they're still fatigued, which is good. 
That's kind of where I'm leaning right now. Phantasmal Killer has a chance to just straight up kill something, but they get two saves against it, which is kind of mediocre. Stone Skin is really powerful, but it also has aspects to it that are... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Bone Shatter. Um, this is a, a debuff and damage spell. It's single target, and which I don't have a lot of, and it seriously disables that creature. Exhaustion and uh. Fatigue, even if it's just fatigue, is good, but exhaustion is really powerful. Sure. I don't know. You know what? No. We're just going to go athletics. <sighs> you go greater weapon focus. Continue on that train. Make it actually more able to hit things. That is her weakest point right now, is still just attacking. And she's up to a positive score for athletics. <laughs> I should probably double check and make sure there's not like uh, any other feats down here that I just didn't know were available. Sure. Seems good. Internal fortitude. Immune to sickened and nausea. Increased damage reduction. I'm very much a big fan of that. That's probably where I'm going with this. Yeah. Damage reduction. She just started getting damage reduction last level, so and she'll get more at level 10, it looks like. Destructive Aura. So, Destructive Aura, first of all, is terrible. And, uh, I don't know if Bill watches these, but, uh, I realized they were in the module, but that was your choice to run that module, and, and, and it is still awful. <laughs> uh, Destructive Aura means that if you score, potentially score a critical hit, you just 
automatically score the critical hit. You don't have to confirm it. Um, he, it affects allies and enemies is the downside. And, uh, Oh, and everything gets a plus four to bonus to damage. Sure. So the trick with this that makes it really powerful is using something like that Elven Curve Blade that has a 15 to 20 crit range. Um, so you have that very high chance of just getting the base critical hit. The Keen Kukri has the same thing. See, I don't think she gets a ton of... Bridge of Doom's decent. But only if you're stacking it with other things that do the same thing. Need to make sure she actually has armor that can support the plus five decks. I'm going to bump Trickery, just in case we end up in that situation where she has to be the backup uh, locksmith again. Another third level spell. I spent a long time on this last time, too. Um, because the ones I ended up taking are pretty good. I'm very tempted to just do haste. Crushing Despair is good if you have a big group of enemies, but usually in this game, if there's a big group of enemies like that, I'm going to nuke them with fire. <laughs> Performing Grief is a good single target again, but uh, they get I didn't even read that first line they can take no actions that's ridiculous Um. so the way that Overwhelming Grief works is apparently they can't take any actions and they take a penalty to AC and they lose their dex bonus. The downside is they get a saving throw every round to break it and it's a will. If it they make that first save, nothing happens. So, I don't know, I feel like Cure Serious Wounds is going to be more useful most of the time than that. Um, the next third level spell I get for Ember is going to be slow. You know what? I'm going to take a remove curse, because that came up recently, and it's kind of a pain. Especially if it affects everybody. That way, I can do... something else on his third levels, like remove disease. I do like Archon's Aura. Oh, it's a good and law spell, he can't do that. Or shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so he can upgrade things to plus two armor. Ow.
Honestly, I think I'm probably in good shape. <coughs> Fourth level spells. Um, protection from energy communal. Freedom of movement. Neutralize poison. Death Ward is good. Dismissal seems like it could be good. And it's a good spell that I can just burn if I don't need it. Without feeling like, <laughs> like it's a serious problem. Lindsay the Magnificent? Lindsay the Illustrious? Something more simple, like Lindsay the Great? Maybe Lindsay the Indecisive. I am Yoshi's on the goal. Bone Shatter. Okay. <laughs> Is the apparently the area exits up at the top? So, yeah, uh, the thing I was talking about earlier, um. So this Keen Elven Curve Blade has a, it, the reason it's so good, uh, Falchion is another one that's similar. So it has the 18 to 20 base crit. Um, if you do power attack with that, it is a two-handed weapon, which means you get time and a half uh, bonus damage. And then with that Aura of Destruction ability, any time that the die comes up, so you have about a 25% chance, slightly more than 25% chance, um, to automatically confirm a critical hit, which then doubles that damage. And all of those bonuses from things like power attack with a two-handed weapon, uh, the two, uh, the plus four bonus from destructive might all get doubled as well. So it is very powerful. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that because I don't think I have a character who can use it. I may double check because no, I don't think elves get proficiency for free. Anyway, yeah, random ramblings. Oh, I missed that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go down here, west, north, see if there's anything that 
goes off to the side. Nope. I don't feel like going on that south road is going to be the most beneficial right now because I'm trying to fill out as much as I can. <clears throat> I can't claim any of this yet, so I'm just kind of scouting. Yeah, let's avoid those guys. We should gather our strength. And then we're going to head back. We're actually at a good spot. I believe. I need to do that. I don't think we have anything that's really pressing right now, so I think we're going to go this way. Sure. This seems like a good thing to quick check out while we've got our cleric. Not that we don't normally have our cleric. Lost borrow. I'm gonna guess this is gonna loop. Ready for anything. I don't need to do that anymore. I need to remember that. Uh Given the potential for spirits of some kind, I think I'm going to go with Sea Invisibility. Never mind. I'll be honest and say this is not what I was expecting. Let's take a quick look. Raiders. 
try out our new spell. And it looks like they've got somebody casting haste on their side too. Those guys really didn't have a chance. Oh, he can't even cast it. It was off a scroll. There's Shard of the Ring. There's Transmutations and Bodily Poisons. Three. I need to figure out where two is at some point here. Yep. I was waiting for the traps. <laughs> I spotted something. Impossible. That's a really high check. Let's do inspire competence. Nope, we only get one crack. Just letting the ink dry. What's that? We're gonna step back from the sarcophagus before we attempt anything. Let us buy and Lindsay was called for it. Lindsay's gonna bust out. Uh, let's see what our actual. So we're gonna examine the lid first. Have a 50 50 shot on that one. Someone has been here recently. Switch to regular Inspire Courage. Let's go. Disrupt Undead. Turn that off as automatic for the time being. Give the order. <sighs> Masterwork long swords. Masterwork items tend to solve for a hundred. Something here. Trapped. I failed. Anything is possible. So before Lindsay, oh wait, actually, what are their scores? Trickery is 11, trickery is six, so they're actually the same I right now. Done. Completed. Just has the
Just has the gloves on. I am yours to command. I know the way. I feel like we're missing stuff. Actually, I saw several checks fail, so I know we're missing stuff. I just don't know what or where it is. Enemy near. Why is she taking all that damage? Skeletal Archer. Okay, so this must have opened when we opened the sarcophagus. Let's do some of that. Let's do disrupt undead here. There we go. Master with long swords. Guessing that opened another door. Yep. Right here. Discovery at level eight. I'm thinking. Ooh, man. Okay, so I know fast bombs is good, but it burns through bombs really quickly. I don't feel like the damage is a problem. I'm gonna grab force bombs. I know that when Terra was playing Alchemist, uh, force bombs ended up not being super great, but I feel like in this particular instance, it'll be 
useful. Um, since I don't have any alternative bomb types yet. Get that up to a base ten. She gets a level three. I'm sure, he has that, so she gets one other. If it's not this, it only affects her, unless it's one of the communal spells. So I'm thinking... That's one we don't have with anybody else. It's two protection from arrows communal. We should move. So explosive bombs or force bombs. Force bombs are less powerful, but they knock the target prone and they do force damage, which is basically, we will prevail. you're basically a, uh, not going to ever run into problems with that. Very, very few things are immune to force damage. None of its other gear. Make sure none of its other gear is masterwork. My search was not in vain. I love her ram. All according to plan. We should prepare. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna check real quick. So that doesn't have armor check penalty, so it's literally just from encumbrance. She has... what? She's carrying three pounds over what she needs to. Then, let's say, screw this. She's six pounds over. Unfortunately, the rest of the stuff is stuff I actually want, so we're kind of just SOL. Uh, I'm hoping we can get a belt that is dex and strength for each of these two, since uh, small characters have such a terrible uh, carry capacity. But that'll actually help a lot as far as actually just getting her 
She was taking a minus three to her trickery Done. checks. Nice. No mistakes. Robes. Coins. Expeditious retreat. Done. I've got a wand of it, so I've started using it basically to ha ha uh, move around uh, more quickly in town or in other situations where it's not a huge deal. Uh, by the way, the I, the other thing I didn't mention with uh, force bombs Let's go back to Disrupt Undead um, Is that they work on incorporeal creatures like ghosts Because they do force damage so that's actually something that I was trying to kind of keep in mind, both with just being having a blank slate on pretty much a damage type that always works. There's very, like I said earlier, there's very little that's immune or resistant to it. So unlike fire, <laughs> which is one of the most commonly, there are more things immune to fire than anything else. There's also a lot of things that are vulnerable to fire, but. There's a lot that's immune to it. Done. Oh my. Everyone. Two? Let's see how this goes. Uh, this has the potential to be very bad. Uh, does she have lesser restoration? No. can only cast it on herself. Let's see if it does if it takes damage from the bombs. Let's have Harim boss a lesser restoration on Amiri. We're going to start off with East. You are not running in, even if you can't do anything.
We've barely touched one of them. I don't actually know how to get Brim out. Ugh. Well, I guess we play this out and see what happens. to remember how or if there's anything I can actually do on golems and I don't think there is I can't keep this up much longer. Avenge me. Avenge me. Okay, well the good news is I know how to potentially fight them. The bad news is it's a bit late for that, and I'm probably screwed. So we get to redo that entire section. I believe. So I don't think I saved since I went in there. I was not expecting that to be what it was. And... I'm trying to remember, so I think Iron Golems have a Poison Breath, so I think if we have Lindsay cast Delay Poison, we have Tiss cast, um, or Tiss used her Force Bombs, it seemed like they were actually really vulnerable to that, they... The first one got knocked prone several times. And we make sure Valerie is the first one in. I wish I actually had Adamantine. So that's actually how you beat Golems. But I don't I don't think we've even seen Adamantine weapons. We've seen one Adamantine piece of armor. Um I'll also say when we go back or when we get back to that point, we'll see if we can uh, go a different direction instead of rushing straight in, and we'll check what the gear is, uh, the robe that we found. So, I'm going to wrap this one up for now. We're going to actually save, and probably try to save more often as we go. Um, and actually, real quick while I'm thinking about it. Ruler's Mantle, yeah. Um, get Tissa's Encumbrance back down. So, hopefully you're still enjoying this. Uh, if you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, 